When I was growing up, one of my favorite things to do on weekends was off-roading with my parents. And at the time, we were only riding four-wheelers, but I always told myself that I'd eventually have some kind of giant off-roader for myself. So now that I'm an adult and I can make my own irresponsible purchases, let me introduce you guys to Chomp, my 2008 Hummer H3 Alpha. are saying, Daniel, why on earth would you buy a Hummer? Especially an H3. They're just five cylinder trash cans. And well, that's where I'd say you're right. But this one's different. So if you didn't catch it earlier, this is the H3 Alpha, which means that it comes with a 5.3 liter V8 and a 4L60 transmission from factory. Now I'm not sure why they all just didn't come with V8s because honestly, the five cylinder that came in the H3s is the only reason why I never wanted to own an H3. And then I found out about the Alphas and everything changed. And to be fair, the five cylinder is really not that bad of an engine. I mean, it compares to pretty much every Jeep Wrangler. It's just not the V8 that this one has. So now before I start yapping about how awesome this thing is, I gotta give you guys some perspective on what I was actually shopping for. Because whatever I ended up buying, I planned on keeping it for a while. So first up, it had to be a V8. So before I found out about the Hummer, I was actually shopping for something more like a Ford Raptor, preferably the first gen with a 6.2 liter V8, because those are just amazing. Plus, who doesn't love the sound of a V8? And next up, it had to be four-wheel drive, for obvious reasons. And third, it had to be affordable. As you guys know, cars are not cheap nowadays in today's market. To acquire this, I actually ended up selling the Durango and also selling my Acura RSX, which I had a lot of plans for the Acura and it kind of sucks that I had to sell it, but whenever you sell cars, Usually it's for an upgrade. So now fourth requirement, it had to be modifiable. And as you guys can see, it is clearly not stock at the moment. We've already got done putting quite a bit of parts onto it. So if you wanna know about the parts installed and any future mods, make sure you stick around to the end of the video so we can talk about it. And last requirement, it had to have heated seats. And that might sound ridiculous, but I have never owned a vehicle with heated seats and I like my butt warm. So with all these requirements and wanting something truly unique, after I found out about the Alpha Hummer, I realized very quickly that this thing actually checked all of my boxes. So now that I've introduced you guys to Chonk a little bit, let me go ahead and walk you around and show you every notable feature that I love and hate about this thing. So as you walk up to this thing, you're gonna notice that it actually has a quite aggressive stance. And as you guys can probably already tell, this thing has some pretty big mud tires. The H3 Hummers actually can clear a 35 inch tire from factory, which is really impressive. Now they don't come with 35 inch tires, but you can put them on. And something I actually really like about the Hummer is that in the front, it's got independent front suspension. But some of the benefits of this suspension is that the ride quality is better, it's easier to work on, and you actually get better ground clearance going through things like mud. And the Hummer actually does come with a straight axle in the rear. And one of the benefits to a straight axle is that you actually get a little bit more of suspension flex or articulation to be able to go on bigger obstacles. And now this is kind of just a bonus feature that I really appreciate. We've got disc brakes. And if you go to the rear, we also have disc brakes. A lot of vehicles that are older like this usually have drums in the rear and they are a huge pain to work on, but having disc brakes in the front and rear like this makes it so much more desirable for me. So now that we're done on the outside, let's go to the inside and to show you exactly what it's like being in a Hummer, I'm wearing a GoPro. So when you open the door and you hop in, the very first thing that you're gonna notice is, wow, this interior is actually really nice. And the best way that I could describe this interior is it's like riding in some kind of off-road Denali. Now I'm six feet tall, so I can straighten my legs out all the way and get a good stretch right here in my comfortable seating position. But when you move to the back, there is still a pleasant amount of room. I should be able to even shut the door. Kids should have no problem fitting in the back 
and your friends who are six feet tall should be able to comfortably <laughs> straddle the seats. That was a really big plus for me because one of the things that I wanted to do was take my friends out and have a lot of fun off-roading. Now it's getting a little hot in here, so let's get some AC. So first thing that you're gonna be looking for getting in a Hummer is typically the four wheel drive controls because this will tell you if it has locking differentials or not. And this one does not because they would be right here on the right side of these buttons. It has an automatically engaging transfer case so you are always in four high. And then you can lock the transfer case to keep it engaged for off-roading. You have your glove box and you got your center console. And the center console is not that big on the top, but you can actually remove this and get way deeper. But one of the things that I don't like about storage is actually there's nowhere to put your phone. But you'll see this is up here, but I put this in there. Link is in the description. It gives you some more storage on the dash of the Hummer. Now, if you need a GPS, you can very easily just stick your phone up here and have it right here so now another thing that's worth mentioning is that the cup holders if you're driving on the street and you just put it in drive it's no big deal but the moment that you go off road and you want to lock this thing in first or second gear they get in the way you're only going to use one cup holder and then you can put it all the way down in first gear like that clearly there is no room for another cup but if you need somewhere to put that second cup you can just go straight in the back and set it right there. And aside from that hole right there, there's an additional one here in the back. And now down here in the front, you can also see that there are two auxiliary switches for you to customize and insert your own switch. We actually put in one switch for an active exhaust. So as you can hear, it's closed right now, but we're gonna open it. On top of the switch, you also get two 12 volt plugs right here, which is great for if you're running any cameras off the front windshield. And then aside from that, you got your automatic driver window. It goes down automatically. Everything else is not automatic. And speaking of windows, the Hummer actually has one of the largest sunroofs I have ever seen, which is awesome. And this sunroof is actually perfect for sticking GoPros up here because you can put it on the sunroof down hanging or you can stick it out on the roof on this flat surface and it'll point forward and capture all of your adventures and as i mentioned earlier i had to have heated seats so there's a little rocker switch right here on the bottom you can flip it down for low and up for high and also on a personal note whenever i was looking for hummers i was extremely picky about my interior i knew that whenever i was going to be filming in here it was gonna be dark and it was gonna look dull. So I had to have something with some color in it so that way it was just easier to look at. And now to continue on the storage, we're gonna talk about laying the seats down in the back because you actually can lay them completely down, but it's a process. First, you'll come to the front and you usually only have to just tilt your seat forward. And then you're gonna move the bottom half of the seats first, pick up in the front right here where this handle is. And then here in the back, you're gonna have a latch up here and they should lay down. We're gonna go ahead and lay down all of the back seats. It's not a completely flat surface on the back. As you can see, there's a bit of a rise right here. So if you wanna sleep in the vehicle, you can't put a mattress down. This is gonna be pretty uncomfortable, but the driver and passenger seat both recline and they're actually very comfortable to lay down in. And then once you get to your trunk space, there's actually quite a bit of storage here. In the back, I usually keep all of my gear that I off-road with, including traction boards, a yank strap and on top of all that you can actually fit a high lift jack perfectly in the trunk if you don't have somewhere to mount it on the outside i don't have a winch in the front yet so for now i've just got a little bit of recovery gear this stuff has been working great and if you're interested in any of it you can find all of it down in the description below now continuing on about storage you actually have a small compartment right here and this i actually keep all of my tire inflation equipment so i got a few extra rags to keep everything from rattling. I got some tire deflators right here, a tire plug kit, and then also my air compressor and a jump starter right here, cause you never know. And then another storage compartment right here, all the way to the right and all the way to the left. You can see I can stick my arm all the way in there. So if you wanna just keep a ton of microfibers on you or some extra tools or whatever you think you can fit in here, this is great storage for it. So one of the bigger concerns that I had with buying a Hummer was actually reliability because I had been told my entire life that Hummers 
will always have problems. And in typical fashion, whenever we took out Chunk for his first adventure off-roading, we actually did have a couple issues. Uh, no, you're good, what the hell? What's that? Oh, I might have broke something. My ABS light just went off. The brakes failed. No, nope, no brakes. No brakes. Absolutely no brakes. Oh my god, dude. I can't stop the damn thing. Well, we're gonna go ahead and check the brake fluid, see if we're losing any on the trail. There we go. Oh yeah, whatever that is. Yeah. Sounds like ABS module. So off of first impressions, it just seemed like the brake booster failed, which still let me stop the vehicle. I was just stopping this thing with manual brakes. So we decided to continue with caution and explore as much as possible. And to my surprise, the Hummer actually did really well. If the Jeep can do it, this could probably do it. Oh, that's the absolute pro. The Jeep can, this can pour fucking short. Oh, that's, that's a so unit, unit, boy! Yeah. No problem. No problem. I noticed a few places that the Hummer was falling short, so I decided to start ordering parts. Kumo actually sent over some massive 35 inch mud tires, and these are the Road Venture MT71s. And when I first bought this thing, it actually already had a two and a half inch lift kit on it. But to clear up a little bit of extra room for the tires when we put them on, we also did a one inch body lift. And also whenever we got this thing, it had blown shocks in the front of it on both sides. So we went ahead and went on Amazon and put on some new Fox 2.0 shocks. Next up was fixing the brakes, which required an entirely new master cylinder assembly. After that was a new front differential bushing and upper control arms. And to top it all off, Chunk even got an exhaust cut out so that way we could finally hear that V8 sing. <laughs> Damn. And I was so busy at the time editing videos that Gavin and Poe actually installed all of this on his channel, It's Just a Six. So if you wanna see the video where they did this, click up above and go check it out. So since the Hummer was finished, we decided to take it off-roading once again with Gavin's newly lifted 392 Jeep and see just how well the Hummer could keep up. I feel pretty good how this thing's gonna do today. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a lot better than it was before. It's gonna ride better, and it's gonna get through a lot more stuff. Oh, seatbelt. Oh, it's a little soft. I'm gonna go a little deeper. Oh, look at Danny getting it. Uh-oh. That way, that way, that way. <laughs> oh, shit. The road ventures. This is a deep one for that Hummer, bro. Woo! Oh my, uh-uh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh -uh. No, he did not. He did that. No, he did not. He did that. <laughs> he did that. <laughs> Follow the Zorby, Follow what's up? Zorby. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. I know that this is the one spot that I have never been able to make it up. So hopefully today's the day I get it. He's just 
walked up this thing. <laughs> the camera's like, like, for real? Snow. What the? F like, this is literally three feet tall right here. God, I don't see this going well. Come on, chop. He just scratched his license plate. All right, hang on. You look good over here now. Yes, sir, you're past the roof. Oh, that was close, though. Good brakes. Ooh, that was oh, a... Brother, that one was so oh, close. Hit it, hit it. Hit it. That's almost got it. Oh! Back so down. close. I know. I'm gonna break this thing. Pull me up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yikes, that's a pretty nasty one. Dude, you're buried to the door. I know it's bad. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Damn, this spot was way worse than expected. a nasty spot yeah that one really was note taken for the future that <laughs> it was a lot worse than it looked i even put a stick in it yep keep going you're good just like that you're perfect keep going literally Straight. perfect oh. you're jeeping Got the rear. Wow, all right, you make him through that? I have, I'll have a chance. Oh. I'll fit through the trees easier. I was unlocked for that, so yeah, he should. Cool. All right. Sweet. She gonna fit. Oh, the mirror, look at the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> we cleared, dude. You just wipe the dust off of it. Your bumper's about to bottom out. Oh. oh, you got that, you're a bulldozer. You're a bulldozer, chunk as fuck. Oh, yeah. You'll have to give it. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Very perfect. Let's, Let's go. go. Nice shit. Nice shit. Little finesse. Now, at the end of the day, the Hummer really only fell short in one place. So, that leaves me one more thing to talk about future plans. If I want to go absolutely anywhere in this thing, the one thing that I'm going to have to upgrade is the differentials. Clearly, I'm still having a good time having the open differentials because it's still a four wheel drive vehicle. And as we come around to the front, one of the plans for up here is actually getting a metal bumper with a winch attached to it. So that way we can upgrade our recovery equipment. As I told you guys before, this Hummer actually comes with a V8 in it, the 5.3, which is just an LS essentially, which means we can put a big cam on it and it would sound awesome. Now they don't make any supercharger kits for the Hummers, but I'm sure that I could figure out how to piece together something at some time in the future. Something else I wanna to add to this later on would actually be a rooftop tent because I wanna do a lot of overlanding in this thing. It's actually the vision I had in mind whenever I bought it was that I wanted something I could comfortably and reliably overland in 
that was capable, but also really fun and unique at the same time. So after months of ownership and coming up with these plans, I've realized that Hummers actually have a lot of potential for off-roading. And I'm really starting to understand the Hummer appeal. You know, it's nice, it's comfortable, and it works when it works. So now with that being said, that is pretty much everything that I have to say about my Hummer H3 so far. I have loved it more than I was really expecting to. I don't have many complaints. And honestly, I would recommend it to anybody who's looking for a budget off-roader. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and if it was helpful, hit that subscribe button down below so that way you can see more videos and I am out. Good luck with shopping for Hummers and I will see you guys in the next one.